Only one candidate in the general election came to speak to you, and that candidate is now the President of the United States standing before you again. I have a feeling that in the next election, you're going to be swamped with candidates, but you're not going to be wasting your time. You'll have plenty of those Democrats coming over, and you're going to say, no, sir, no, thank you. No, ma'am, perhaps, ma'am. It may be Pocahontas, remember that. <laughs> but you came through for me, and I am going to come through for you. I was proud to receive the NRA's earliest endorsement in the history of the organization. And today, I am also proud to be the first sitting president to address the NRA Leadership Forum since our wonderful Ronald Reagan in 1983. And I want to thank each and every one of you, not only for your help, electing true friends of the Second Amendment, but for everything you do to defend our flag and our freedom. With your activism, you help safeguard the freedoms of our soldiers who have bled and died for us on the battlefields. But we have news that you've been waiting for for a long time. The eight-year assault on your Second Amendment freedoms has come to a crashing end. You have a true friend and champion in the White House. No longer will federal agencies be coming after law-abiding gun owners. No longer will the government be trying to undermine your rights and your freedoms as Americans. Instead, we will work with you by your side. We will work with the NRA to promote responsible gun ownership, to protect our wonderful hunters and their access to the very beautiful outdoors. For too long, Washington has gone after law-abiding gun owners while making life easier for criminals, drug dealers, traffickers, and gang members. MS-13, you know about MS-13? It's not pleasant for them anymore, folks. It's not pleasant for them anymore. That's a bad group.